In this video, we're going to look at some of the updates to VS Code. There were several great improvements. If you want to learn more about VS Code, check out my VS Code course at vscodehero.com. I also have a VS Code cheat sheet that you can download for free. The link is in the description. It has keyboard shortcuts, my favorite extensions, themes, fonts, and icon packs. If you find this video helpful, like and subscribe. There's a new side panel in VS Code. If you find yourself constantly going back and forth between different views and wish there was another panel that you could keep open, well, here you go. Just grab whatever view you want and drag it to the opposite side of your sidebar. Let's get this terminology correct. I have my sidebar on my right side. Normally it's on the left. So wherever all of these icons are, this is called your sidebar. This new thing is called the side panel. Not to be confused with the panel, which is at the bottom and houses the terminal output and other things. And you can drag and drop just about anything between these. I could even put my terminal over here if I wanted to. I don't know why you would ever do that. You can even swap the location of the views using the move views from panel to side panel and move views from side panel to panel. And if you totally screw things up and you can't remember where everything was at to start with, just run views reset view locations from the command palette. Now everything's back to default. The panel alignment can also be customized. This is best demonstrated when the sidebar and both panels are open. You can choose between a centered position, left, right, or justified. There's also a new control to help you visually choose a custom layout. If you don't see this button up here in the top right, make sure you have window.titlebarstyle set to custom and workbench.experimental.layoutcontrol.enabled set to true. This control allows us to toggle our sidebar, our panel, and our side panel. And when we click custom layout, this control makes it easy to choose a layout. We can hide or show our menu bar, which is all the way at the top, our activity bar, our sidebar, panel, side panel, status bar, set the sidebar position. Right now it's on the right, we can set it to the left, and our panel alignment. We now have IntelliSense help in Markdown files when typing paths for links and images. We'll get suggestions for local files and images when we type either slash or dot slash. Slash is resolved to the workspace root path and dot slash is relative to the current file. Let's say for some reason I wanted to add a link here to our package JSON. Then I can do slash and then package JSON. We get the IntelliSense there helping us. If I wanted to add an image, let's add the uh, React logo here, and that is going to be in public and logo. And if we go over to our preview, we can see a link here to our package JSON, and we have our image. And this even works with reference links. So we're gonna link to our code stacker home page. And then as soon as we type square bracket here, it's gonna automatically see all of the reference links on this page. There's just one, it's CS. And we can see it at the bottom, if I go down here, we have this reference link here, which is uh, the URL for my homepage. And we can also use this path IntelliSense to help us to link to other headers within the same file. Let's say this is going to be code splitting. And to find that link, let's just type hashtag. And here are all of the headers in this file. So we're looking for code splitting. Let's do that. And if we go over to our preview and we click on code splitting, it brings us down to that header. VS Code.dev now has PWA support. Go to VS Code.dev and look for this icon in your browser address bar. Clicking this will install VS Code as a PWA application on your computer. This will make some offline functionality possible and helps with key bindings. When you use VS Code.dev in the browser, you're limited to the key bindings of the browser. As a PWA, you can take full advantage of the standard VS Code key bindings. But don't be confused by this. Even though this looks like the desktop VS Code, this PWA version of VS Code.dev is still the web version and it still has limited functionality. Those were the things that stood out for me. There were lots of other minor improvements that you can read in the official release notes linked in the description. VS Code is continually improving. Let me know what your favorite feature is. That's going to be it for this video. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.